So we've had this happen to enough friends that we decided to make a video about it. Say you're coming to Japan, you have a great time, you've got maybe one or two days left and you think, holy sh**, I need to buy souvenirs for friends and family, what do I do? You could go to the airport, but I don't really like restructuring my luggage when I'm there. I think the answer to all of your problems are at a Japanese supermarket. The two of us have discussed this for a while and we've really thought this through. We have a list of some sweets, some savories, and some surprising. I really think you're gonna find it useful. that are candy lovers, Japan is an amazing place to visit, but it is oh so overwhelming. You're gonna look at this giant wall and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Which is why I'd like to suggest my all-time favorite candy, whose name I don't even know. Simon and I today sat in front of the camera and we're like, Buccio? Wait, Puccio? Wait, Puccio? These tiny little magic beans are basically like chewy Starburst candies, but on the inside, they've hidden a little flavorful jelly bean. And then on top of that, they'll sometimes have little tiny candy crystals. So when you bite into it, you get the soft chew and this little like edamame bean that will pop out in your mouth. And that has its own flavor. It's unbelievable, people. There are usually three flavors that are always available in every single pack. There's a cola flavor, there's a soda flavor, and there's also a plain purple grape. And these are a really nice thing to bring back for kids that are not that into Japan yet because the flavors are so different, but not weird. Like the grape flavor was something that really spoke to me when I was a kid. My neighbor gave me these little grape gums that were just unbelievable. And then when I came to Japan, I realized that that was a real flavor of real grape. Ugh. I love these. Can we do a little slow motion shot of me just pouring them everywhere? The packages were scratchy and hurt my delicate skin, and they booped me in the head. Not a sexy thing. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend it. When we first came to Japan, I hated cognac. I thought it was disgusting. Mm. <laughs> you put the whole thing? <laughs> But now, I've actually grown to love it. Not all of it, only citrus flavor kind, and in particular, grapefruit. See, this is an unopened pack. This is one of them in the fridge because we go through these so quickly. These are really nice jellies that taste like grapefruit and juiciness. They're so flavorful and delicious. No. These are very unique. I haven't had anything like this back in North America. They taste really good. At first, you're like, wow, why is my jelly so hard? But after you have a few of them, they're actually really, really addictive, but they are very dangerous. Do not give these to old people or to children because they might die according to the packaging. You could choke on it because it's a tough jelly. Stay away from the apples and the cherry flavored ones. Those taste too artificial. The grapefruit ones taste so good. Supposedly, if no. you're a young teenage boy. Oh no, Ducky, why are you telling them this? I don't know, I've heard that they take like bigger bricks of cognac and then they microwave it for a little bit and then they kind of like American pie it if you understand that reference. I don't know if that works or not yet. I'm gonna conduct some experiments and I'll let you know in a future video. You don't need to, you're married. <laughs> you're supposed to put your in it. Stop telling people these things. This culture. When you come to a country, you have to be respectful of the culture and Japanese teenage boys supposedly stick their dick in warm cognac. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. Please I've, let us know. Please let us know. But again, I don't think he was gonna be like, yeah, I did that before I was a kid. Who's gonna admit that? <laughs> Let's just say it's a rumor. <laughs> For special times, make it cognac for times. Now, a big favorite of mine are these pre-made little dashi packs. So for those of you that don't know what dashi is, dashi is the classic cooking stock used in a lot of Japanese cuisine. Once you learn how to make this, you can make tons of other dishes. And I will forever constantly refer you back to this video if you're like, I will make dashi. I'll be like, go back to the miso soup video. Like if you make miso soup, you need to first make that base. If you make udon, you need to make that base. And from there, the flavors are built on. The only problem is that you have all these ingredients that you have to put in to actually making Dashi. If you buy these little tiny fishy tea packs of magic, it's got inside of it already katsuo. It's got the ground up bonito flakes. It's got in it ground up little dried fish. It's got inside of it kelp, which is super important for that good MSG flavor. And this particular brand even has dried mushrooms in it. That's amazing. I really recommend getting these. I always keep these in my house just in case someone comes over and I'm like, oh no. What should I do? I have to prepare food for people. And then I just toss it in and I make 
my shit, it became share immediately. Ah. Strap out of it. Any of you that have friends that are chefs or into home cooking, I really recommend grabbing these little pre-made dashi packs. And it's so easy to put into your luggage. There's just like, look, it's so compact. I'm very excited to share this with you. You've been asking for this for a while. I now have a recipe for my special cucumbers. So these are Japanese cucumbers. I don't think you could bring these back home with you. No, you definitely can't bring these back yeah, home with you, back. but you could use different cucumbers with these different kinds of vinegars. All of them have their own different kinds of flavors, special for different kinds of food. This one right here has a lot more sweetness to it. Stay away from this one. I don't think it really matches the cucumbers that well. This is a much richer flavor. The dark one with kombu in it has much more umami, back of the throat kind of feel. While this is the best one that I found so far for making the pickles that I love. If you want to make this at home, the smaller, thinner, cucumbers are always best try to avoid the ones with the thicker inedible seeds step one take a lot of salt sprinkle that on right there and then what you're supposed to do is roll them back and forth like this the rolling squeezes out some of the juice this is a very important step so that the cucumbers can absorb a lot of the vinegars the next step I saw my chef friend do is kind of questionable but we got to do it make sure you Rub your gherkin, and once that's done, leave it for two hours so the salt can pull out some of the moisture. Back in the day, we used to film a whole video and be fine. Now I'm halfway through and I need a nap. That is not true. When we were in Korea, we lived off of coffee. Zombie coffee. True. Right? We had like 9,000 coffees a day, and we're currently having black lock coffee. Tanzania. Really? You want to start taking that snacks? No snacks? You want me a big spoon or a little spoon? Question. Hi. Are you tired because you got up early to watch the NBA? I am. It's day one of the playoffs. <laughs> it's really weird though because we've been living in Asia for so long that you never watch it in the evening anymore. No, I gotta watch it in the morning. I gotta wake up at like 7 in the morning if I want to <laughs> catch my games. And when it's actually playoff time, you have to get up even earlier than that. I remember we were out at like 6 a.m. to go to a bar and no one's no. at the bar the same way. I know. You're drinking orange juice and having scrambled eggs I going know. like... Alright, memers. Come on, snuggle time. I'll tell you right now, he was not pleased with that behavior. How do you think he felt about that? Very angry. I I was sleeping and then you woke me up. Meow 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 meow. What? Oh, what's the matter? You want to go back in the bed? Yeah, it's too cold out there, Pancha. It is too cold. Let's go. We have the floor heater on in here. He's gonna be very happy. He makes very happy sounds when you put him back in the bed. Listen. Does not. Furious. That was not a happy boy. So mad right now, Pancha. Oh, I am so furious, but I won't do anything about it because I am the sweetest cat. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Oh, woe is me. I am just miserable, Mom. Oh, yeah, it's the only thing that will make me feel better. Okay, two hours have passed. Next step, cut off the edges like so. Next, cut straight down the middle so you have two equal halves oh shit. oh shit. it's easier if you have straighter ones next take your little spoon scrape out the seeds just a bit don't scrape out all the flesh just a bit of the seeds rub your spoon on it like so not too deep it's very easy to get out you know i don't know about all this all right now that we've scooped out all the seeds flip these back over and just cut into like smaller two inch pieces like so. Pull out your Tupperware container. Honestly, this is such an easy recipe. Throw them in there and that's where this comes in. Generously sprinkle a whole bunch of vinegar into your mixture. Now pretty much what you have here is done, but you could add a couple more flavors to make this a little bit better. If you're okay with spice, get these little sliced pepperoncinos. Throw only a few on because these will really spice up your pickles and make them almost inedible. So just a few is enough. And lastly, get this sesame oil right here. Just a little bit of a dash. There's no real measurements here. That's enough. Close it up, shake it up, and the next morning you're gonna have delicious pickles with your breakfast. This is how you make them. Bring this with you or give this to your chef friends. I think it's a great gift that adds a lot of flavor to your food. 
let's talk furukake. This is one of my very childhood, most famous happy-go memories that I have. It's my Patronus, Ducky. Yes. I'm like, expecto Patronus, and it's like, furukake. Furukake is just a dry rice seasoning egg yolk. They'll have some with seaweed. Some of them will be those fancy bonito flakes that we saw before that'll just be kind of like broken down into smaller bits. There is really a plethora of furukake, and it can be very overwhelming, which is why I recommend that you buy these tiny little sample packs. They usually have five or six different flavors. And while you can get a big individual pack, those ones might not be a flavor that you like. And then you might be like, why did I spend my money on this? You can have it on plain rice or you can make it into like a little onigiri, which is something that I am extremely passionate about. If you've noticed uh, a theme in our merch or in the videos I've done, I'm gonna get some rice and show you guys what's inside these lovely little packs of love. So this one is freeze-dried egg, sesame, it's got some, I think actually green tea in it, a little bit of chicken flavor. And this one, it's got egg, it's got aji, which is like a dried fish, it's got katsuo, it's even got sesame seeds in it. The reason I recommend the egg one is because it's actually really good for people who aren't that into fishy flavors, while the one that Simon likes has lots of dried fish in it, lots of seaweed, lots of really strong fishy flavors. Once you mix the furukake into your warm rice and it must be warm, you wanna wet your hands a little bit and we're just gonna fold them into like a little tiny triangle or circle shape. You know what you know they do in the store? They do this. <sighs> And I'm not gonna tell you all about Onigiri right now because I made an entire stop animation video about it. Gosh darn, it took me so long, watch it. Last up, a little bit of roasted seaweed is a nice touch. All you have to do now is put this into a lunchbox. Just don't wrap the nori on it right away because it'll get all soggy and gross. Looking good. Just a word of advice if you give these to your friend as a gift. We had a friend at our house who thought that these were candy because they didn't read the packaging and it looked all like colorful and pop rocky because I bought a Pokemon version, which is exactly the same. It's just literally covered in Pokemon. So he's like, this must be candy. And he dumped it down his mouth thinking it was pop rocks. And boy, was it not pop rocks. So if you give this to a friend, make sure you explain how to use this furukake or you could send them over to our channel and tell them to like and hit the smash subscribe. I don't even know the phrase that YouTubers do. What do they say, Ducky? Like and smash the subscribe button. Like and smash the subscribe button. Next on your list is Cupy Mayo. You have to get Cupy Mayo for when you go back home. I don't know how to describe this. It's got the weird Cupy dolls on it. And for me, I always find dolls creepy. The bottle has no label on it whatsoever. It's a squeeze tube, but the mayo is unlike any other mayo in the world. It is soul crushingly delicious. I tried reading why this mayo is so good. Supposedly they don't use egg whites. They just use the egg yolks and Japanese eggs are pretty much the best eggs in the world. If you disagree with me, meet me in the parking lot and we could fight about it. Along with a better tasting vinegar and you just have something that's arguably for me, better than ranch dressing. I don't use ranch dressing anymore. I only use QP mayonnaise. It is really that good. You'll find mayonnaise on many dishes in Japan, on your okonomiyaki, even on your gyudons, you'll find it. It's really good if you hard boil an egg, dice a little bit of onions and mix it up with some mayo, put that on top of your fried chicken, it sends you to heaven. And some of you might be saying, who cares, it's just mayonnaise, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's kind of like the difference between regular Coke and Mexican Coke, when they use like real sugar versus corn syrup. It might not be that huge of a difference for you, but for some people the taste is astronomically different. QP mayonnaise, I'm telling you, you give this to any one of your foodie friends, they will love you for it. This stuff, you must bring back home with you. It is so, so good. Just so good. I just, I just hate this baby doll thing. If you're looking for a gift for coworkers, I always think that Pocky is a very good gift. It's very elegant looking. Mm. They feel adult, kind of like, I'm not sure if you have this in your country, like after eight or score bars. They feel like the kind of treats that adults like to have. I don't know why. Totally. Something about the shape. Yeah. For most people, something about the shape kind of seems a little bit more mature. However. 
dun 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 If you're looking for more of a childish kind of gift recipient, these little chocolate mushrooms are delicious. They pretty much are identical to Pocky in which they're, they're biscuits with like a chocolate topping except these are like shorter and thicker and really cute but both of them taste pretty much similar and they're great gifts to give either to kids or to adults or Martinez. Mm-hmm. Ah! We have a chip. They're really good and it's kind of... I almost ate your nail. I felt you almost eat my nail. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures, son. We haven't eaten all day. We've been filming for We're six hours. Filming. I challenge you to duel. We're gonna duel, and whoever Spocky breaks, loses. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Now let's talk Japanese curry. Without a doubt, when you've come to Japan, you've eaten that cocoa curry many times. Otherwise, you've just wasted your time in coming to Japan. And when you go back home, you're gonna wanna have some of that curry and you're gonna wanna share some of that curry. Supermarkets sell a lot of these curry cubes. Golden curry is the one that's the most popular, but I actually like the Zeppin one the most. I've tried almost all of them. This one, hands down, has the best flavor out of all the cubes that I've tried. You might have seen me cook with this in a Day in Our Life video when I did that very cool quick 15 minutes just chop shit up and throw it in a slow cooker recipe don't be intimidated by getting these cubes you don't even have to do it in a slow cooker on the back right here it says just to do it in a pot as well you can make this meal very quickly you can impress your friends and family very great cheap gift choice that will bring lots of joy to everybody's lives if this is a bit too intimidating for you they also have pre-made curry packs in which you don't have to do any cooking you could just pour it on top of rice i don't find they taste as good as this stuff right here so i do recommend just spend an extra few minutes to make this yourself. Oh, I wish people could smell the air here right now. It smells <sighs> so good. That little like cube. Is that actually liquidy on the inside there? It's like a creamy curry toothpaste. Uh, you just uh, want to no, take a little bit and just like rub it in your Ew. gums. Did you really do that? <laughs> and on to the next thing. So I hope you found this video useful. If you're in Japan, a supermarket has everything that you Absolutely. need and you're gonna have great gifts for your friends and family back home. We just really love perusing supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Every country we go to, we're always like, to the supermarket! I don't know if that's weird or not, but please let us know in the comment section below if you guys are supermarket freaks as well. I just, I think it's wonderful and fun. It's wonderful, if you will. Thunderful. Thunderful. We have a throng of extra bloopers. If you feel like watching a little bit more, click on the video right here where you can see us mess up repeatedly over and over. And if you're interested in Japanese supermarkets, we also have this video here that I think you might like. So make sure you check that out so you can learn more about the best thing, supermarkets.